Yo yo, Ren Gullius here. You are watching Wrench Feels Like Playing Kingdom Come Deliverance. Um, I've seen this uh, game, um, a couple clips here and there of this game being played, and I thought it was interesting, so Charles the Fourth, thought I'd give it a go. King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. King died. When the emperor died, the emperor whole died. empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. Wenceslas? But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate. Then oh, yeah. he took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded surprise, surprise. Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's armies. It is here that my story begins. Okay. So it's my understanding that you are playing a certain character in this world. I do not know. I'm probably should have done a little bit of research but i don't know if this is actually historical like if it's like kind of based on actual history or if this is just like a made-up story based on the era 1403 okay um so we're just gonna jump right into it um kind of interesting that the opening scene kind of happens right as you open the game but is what it is um so, I guess let's jump into it, see what it's like. Um, normal mode, hard code, more realistic. Familiar with the essentials of combat and survival in the world of Kingdom Come. And I guess just normal mode. So, we'll just go with normal mode. I haven't played this game before. War Horse. Okay. Early 15th century was a time of turmoil in the Holy Roman Empire, which has flourished under the late Emperor Charles IV, and now his son Wenceslas, the idol of Bohemia, taken over. The king's inactivity angered many of the nobility, as well as half brother King Sigmund. So it's just telling us what we knew in the the intro there. Hopefully, we don't have to read too much. I'm not a very quick reader. Okay. Is this the kingdom? Is this our kingdom? Silver Skitsa. 1403. Scallets? I can read. Okay. Sweet, let's start now. I'm good. Let's go. Come on. Okay. God 
blessed. Same to you. Today's a scorch. <laughs> Well, let's get to do some gameplay here. Or is this more... I think this is kind of like a story-based game. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. But this ma. hour... And my ma. Blue-blooded idler. Well... It looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. That tells me we're gonna watch them horrifically die. You should tell this that goes. Get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. Just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. Up at that sword play? You know how, how dare he feels you? about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. <sighs> Okay, are we going to start the game now? A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? By means of the first two choices in dialogue, you will select your character's default char characteristics. If you're not satisfied with them, do not worry. Um, all characteristics... Can be further developed without limitation. Characteristics. Okay, so you kind of just like progress through the story, I guess, and uh, just kind of by means of the first two choices in this dialogue. So I have two choices for uh, characteristics. I have no idea what any of this means. So speech, agility, vitality, strength. So obviously makes me attack stronger, makes my life more, makes me dodge better. And then obviously speech is speech. You know what? Maybe I'll play a little bit of a sly character here. So we're going to go speech. We're chatting in the tavern. Oh, nothing much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world, and, um... Well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope he didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. So we just gained a level in speech and then a level in total there. Um, so a mysterious character came into town. A suspicious character with a sword turned up. Why would I be interested in sword fighting? Matthias was touching the archery with Bianca. Why does it matter? Well, I already went speech. I don't want to go strength at this point. Let's go strength. Why does it matter? So I'm learning to sword fight. And what of it? What harm does it do? 
At least I'll be able to defend myself. God above, Hal. You know how your father will react when he finds out. How? What's he going to do? I'm doing nothing wrong. I just wanted to try it. On your own head be it, then. I can't stop you, and you can deal with your father on your own. Don't come looking to me for help. Oh, yeah. Go to the sword fighting lesson. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. On the table? Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Oh, yeah. Matthew and Fritz aren't drunkards. I never said they were, did I? And if I really minded you going for a beer with them, I'd have put a stop to it long ago. I was young once too, you know. And your father was no angel when he was in Kuttenberg. You mean it? Of course he wasn't. <clears throat> <laughs> you don't believe me? Ask him yourself. All right, I will. You're not a boy anymore, Henry. You're a man, and it's time to start acting like one. Yesterday, you promised your father you'd help at the forge. If you made yourself useful now and then, I wouldn't mind your mischief making so much. So we're forge. We we we're, we can work at the forge, but we can't sword fight. Like, what the hell is the logic there? Um, let's uh, end dialogue here. New level in strength. New perk point available. Discovered scallops. To eat any food, pick it up in the inventory tab. Food will select. You want to eat. Eat it by holding A. Cheese. Picked it up. Picked it up. I got some cheese. Bread roll. this Can I sit oh apple this can't be done while sitting I can't pick anything up so why do I why would I want to sit okay pulled up my inventory uh, bread roll, cheese, door keys, green shirt, boots, red scarf, trunk keys, two cheeses. Okay, let's uh, stand up. I want that apple. Can I not grab it? No? Guess not. Okay, we got some cheese, an apple. Drop into pot. Eat from pot. What happens if I just eat the pot? I don't think anything really changed there. Is there like a survival mechanic in this game where you have to eat? Is that a rifle? No, that's a stick. Probably a walking stick. Yeah, it's 1403. There's no rifles. Okay. Let's, uh, I guess go ask Papa about what he did when he was younger. Compass. Compass will tell you where to go. The quest you're pursuing, just head to the active objective waypoint. A to go to Fala. Papa you discovered grindstone. Is that like a location? Come here, I need your help. Alright. What's up? What's up, dude? What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me calling you? I was fucking sleeping, dude. Uh, persuasion. 
Sometimes you need powers of persuasion to achieve your goals. When P when talking to people, you can often choose what kind of impression you want to make on them. Okay, you can simply use speech, which however is influenced by the reputation you have at the moment with the person you were talking to. In the Middle Ages, social status was paramount, so the quality of your attire and how well-groomed you are, together with your reputation, can make a difference in how people respond to you. If you look dangerous, people will be afraid to cross you and will also be more willing to assign risky tasks to you. That's how influence that's influenced mainly by your strength and the deterrent effect of your weapon and equipment. But other things are also taken into account, which is blood stains on your clothes. Okay. You can sometimes rely on money to do the talking for you. You just have to agree on persuasive sum. Bribing people works in the same way as shopping, sea trade, and haggling. In special cases, you could try any other skill. Example, horsemanship. It's not the only it's not only the manner of persuasion that's important, but also the specific offer because sometimes it's not enough just to choose according to your highest characteristics. You have to really read what you're going to say. Yes. Okay, let's just try and take that all in right there. So persuasion is like a whole uh, whole ass system in this game. So I can simply use speech if I'm good at speech, which I already took at least one point into speech. But there is a reputation system. Okay. So if you're wearing high-end clothes, people will treat you like you're high-end. And as long as you're clean. If you are, I guess if you're wearing armor and have a decent weapon, people might treat you differently because they look at you as you're dangerous. Or if you have blood stains on you. And then obviously you can bribe people. And then in special cases, you can try any other skill. So obviously like that's situation dependent and then even if yeah you are high in speech the speech response might not be something you want to say at the time okay persuasion okay so but different approaches work on different people you won't intimidate a tough brawler easily, so no matter how well you dress, you won't impress the nobility easily. Makes sense. That's because Henry's abilities aren't simply assigned to a universal value, but compared with the abilities of his counterpart. Wait, what? But compared with the abilities of his counterpart. That's because Henry's abilities aren't simply assigned to his universal value, but compared with the abilities of his counterpart. You can see the values of various abilities in the game under the corresponding icons. You can always see your own abilities. Your counterpart's abilities are visible to you if it's someone you know well or if you're skilled at reading people. Learn the perk empathetic. Holy shit. There is a whole ass persuasion system and reputation system in this game. So obviously, yeah, if you simply assigned to a universal value. Your money, the amount you have to pay. What's this about? It's not it's not just about stats, though. The outcome is influenced by other factors. Example, your reputation, whether you're dirty or bleeding, etc. Huh. If you can't outdo the nimble tongue of a merchant, for example, you may want to poison him a little first. 
and then he will be easier to persuade. Or if you lead a guard away from his friends, he'll be easier to scare. What the fuck? Your money, the amount, like, I don't understand what this graphic's really about. The level of your reputation with your counterpart. So whoever you're talking to, that's what they mean by counterpart. But the abilities of his counterpart. So whoever you're talking to, his abilities are taken into account as well. Total speech skill level, total charisma level, total strength level. Speech and charisma are separate. Jeez Louise. Henry Guard. Two to three, seven to five. Total speech level doesn't say. You're the level of your reputation with your counterpart. Twenty-seven. That looks like an angry face. That doesn't look like he's very happy. I still don't necessarily understand the uh, your money, the amount you have to pay thing here. Interesting, though. There's a lot to think about there. The reputation is a real thing in this game. The way you look affects your speech skills and your charisma and how people interact with you i guess that makes sense just like it does in the real world okay so it's just two pages wow okay so father I, I don't even know what he said so something about me helping him and then me why did it take so long What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me calling? So if I use speech right now, I had to do something. Sorry, I wanted to have a look around. I won't be ordered around. Father. All question marks. 100% reputation. He's smiling. My speech is 2. My charisma is 7. And my strength is 3. Well, obviously the smartest option here would be to say sorry first. I kind of want to roleplay as a smartass, because that's kind of how I am in real life. And I don't necessarily always want to go the goody two-shoes route. And sometimes that can be kind of boring. I'm gonna just going to be an asshole here. I had to do something. Sorry, I had to go and deal with something. Well, it's no great tragedy. Anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. That didn't I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh, not drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his ass. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross Damn. guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sassel. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, Money charcoal, charcoal cross, cross guard. guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make Aye. sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. <clears throat> Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. Got the quest from father. Okay, objective complete. Quest log. Information about your quests 
for clarity. They also indicate it on your map, as well as the compass on the top of your screen. Quest log is up. Map is up. Here's our map. I'm assuming we're standing where we're shown right there. Interesting map here. That is a freaking interesting map, I must say. Cool. Um, we have A, A, C, E, and D. Where's B? Is there a B? Are we standing at B? Um, okay. So we'll just head to A, I guess. Um, we have to go get some charcoal, but we also have to get money first from the drunk dude. So, if I go back here. Quick full screen marker zoom. Is there... Down? So here's my inventory. Weapons, armor. Okay. Flare. Main level, one. Strength. One and two. What does that mean? Is there a... What does this mean? Info. Okay, level. is derived from your stats and your progress through the game. It is useful for comparing your character that of your friends with every second level you reach you can select one perk that allows you to make your character more specialized wait what level is derived from your, your stats and your progress to the game obviously this is useful for comparing your character to that of your friends every second level you reach you can select one perk that allows you to make your character more specialized. of your friends what do you mean we're friends? Oops. Um. I guess these are the perks. Okay. Interesting. Strength. How does the character handle physical challenges? more strength the less depletion of stamina okay i would have thought that would have been agility more strength less depletion of stamina when wielding heavy weapons most weapons except daggers and sabers and more powerful your attacks obviously each level up of strength also significant significantly increases the capacity of your inventory significantly okay as well as Influencing how fast you can sprint with heavy load. Strength is increased primarily by combat. Oh, that's not something you necessarily put points into. It's something you do, like the more you do it. Kind of like uh, Elder Scrolls. Okay. Okay. Uh, agility. Agility is a measure of speed, movement, and nimbleness. Uh, an agile character is not only moves faster, but also better at evading strikes, and can, can skillfully wield more sophisticated weapons, such as sabers, and is more skilled at archery. Archery, in turn, will also increase agility. You will get agility perk points at every fourth level up. Is that just something you, you just get, no matter what? Or is that something? I don't know. Whatever. We'll find out. Vitality determines how much character you can endure. A character can endure. The more vitality, the more stamina, and faster it regenerates. The longer a character can last without getting tired, and the longer he can run. Running, surmounting obstacles, and surviving combat enhance vitality. You get a vitality perk points at um, every third level up, and then at level 20. Okay. 
So you get different perks every level. Perk points every fourth level up. Every third level up, you get a vitality. Sorry, what did strength say? Every other level up. So every second level up. Interesting. Speech. Speech gauges the character's ability to talk his way out of situations. It's more... It's, it is improved by talking to people and successfully... And successful persuasions. As a result... A good speaker can settle many conflicts before they even arise. Haggling better or disconcern a foe, he wouldn't be able to overcome in combat. Oops. You get speech perk points at every fourth level up, so some of them come at the same rate. Charisma is a measure of how you can impress people. Fast talk will get you only that far. Fancy clothes and ornaments can give you an extra bit of status you need. Its total is average charisma value of all your visible items of clothing you are wearing. Underclothes do not count. It is also... It also... It's also influenced by how clean, dirty, and bloody your tire is. So worthwhile to visit the baths now and again, or at least having a splash in a trough. In a trough. Wow, okay, so there's a quite a bit of stuff to this. Visibility is the opposite of camouflage. It tells you how easily you are spotted, and the lower it is, the better. It is average visibility value of all the visible items of your clothing you are wearing. Naturally, glittering armor and brightly colored ornaments or garments are much easier to spot than dark clothes. Your visibility in the dark is affected by the amount of light in your vicinity, as well as how much your body is exposed to view and how close you are to people. Enemies will spot you even in pitch darkness if you're too close. Opposite of camouflage. Tells you how easily you're detected. Current 56. Interesting. Conspicuousness. It's a measure of how you stand out in the normal environment, i.e. whether or not people who see you look twice. It depends on your clothing. So obviously if you're wearing like bright, shiny, heavy plate armor, people are going to notice you. If you're wearing like bright, fancy, fluffy, noble looking clothes, people are going to look at you. If you're wearing just a regular ass dirty cloak, no one's going to pay you, pay you mind. Wow. There's a lot to think about. There's a lot to fucking think about. Holy shit. Okay. And I'm looking at this main level one screen. So melee weapon, range weapon, head armor, body armor, arm, arm armor, leg plate. Strength, energy, nourishment, nourishment. So there is some sort of survival aspect to this game. So I have to keep myself fed. Visibility, conspicuousness. So visibility and conspicuousness. Obviously, those are sort of tied to each other. Jeez Louise. Noise. It's 26. I'm not wearing any plate armor. So yeah, if you want to go sneak around, you don't want to wear any heavy plate armor. Um, Then you have strength, agility, vitality, speech, charisma, and speed. Interesting. 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 Oh shit, there's more. Uh noise. Uh the more noise you make, the more likely you're to be discovered whenever you move. Noise is deliver derived from your clothing and weapons you have equipped. So there's like three things dedicated to freaking like sneaking around. So noise, conspicuousness, and visibility. Conspicuousness and and visibility are really very closely tied from my from the look of it, and then noise as well, loosely tied. If you're wearing dark cloaks, light cloaks, like kind of what I'm wearing, but if I was wearing like probably like a hood, and it was like black or brown, maybe my uh, conspicuousness would be like super high. My visibility would be super low, I would assume, and then my noise would be super low as well because I'd be wearing like cloth. Like it is right now, like 26. 
that's my my assumption. So I'm wondering if sneaking is like something that's heavy in this game or. OK. And I have a star next to this, so I would assume that I can probably do some level up here or something. Maybe not. Progress 82%. I'm level one. Maybe not. I don't know what the star really means. Because it did say I like leveled up strength and I leveled up speech. Carrying dead or unconscious bodies won't cost you any stamina. And they will burden you only half as much. Carrying dead bodies. What the fuck, dude? That also tells me, like, yeah, so sneaking is, like, something that we're going to have to really consider in this game. Stronghold. Blocking an opponent's strikes with your shield would cost you 30% less stamina. So we can, it looks like we can select either of these two things if we really want. Kind of confused. Learn? I'm assuming I can only learn one of these. I don't know what these symbols at the top. There's a star, there's a crown, and then there's like a lightning symbol. I'm assuming that means your progress. Crown is your current level. And the star is upgrade ability. Perk points? I think that's that that's kind of what makes sense in my head. Um Well shit. I don't know how often we're gonna be carrying bodies or unconscious bodies won't cost you any stamina well that's gonna come into play i'm sure at some point well it seems to me like stronghold is more useful i don't know how often we're gonna be a, i'm assuming we're gonna be in combat at some point more often than we're carrying dead bodies minimum level two Let's go Stronghold with the shield, 30% less stamina. You really want to learn this perk? Yeah. Okay, so we have Stronghold. Interest. Minimum level 4, minimum level 6. So this is Strength. I think I had a Speech one as well. Level 2 in Speech. But I get a perk every 4th level. Okay, damn. Okay. And the star's gone for my stats panel there. Okay, what's this? Defense, warfare, axe, bow, mace, sword, unarmed. So this is probably something where if I use axes or bows or maces or swords or unarmed, that will my experience with those increase. Um I'm sorry if this is boring to you guys. I like to kind of figure out what the game really uh, is asking for me before I really dive headfirst into it. Um, defense. Increase the time you can hold a perfect block or dodge, as well as increasing the defense stat of a weapon and shield. New perk points unlock at levels 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. Defense. Warfare. Total fighting skill with weapons or unarmed. The more skillful warrior you are, the faster your attacks are and the harder it is for opponents to defend against them. Also, your weapons will be less damaged by attacking and defending. Okay, so there's a freaking item degradation element to this game. Okay, so obviously axe skills, bow skills. It's just kind of what I thought. The more you uh, do it, the more you level up. Interesting. Skills. Alchemy. Drinking. Herbal. Drinking is a skill. Alchemy. Herbalism. Horse master. Hound master. Hunting. Lock picking. Maintenance. Maintenance. Right. Pickpocketing. Reading. Stealth. OK. 
Okay, so a couple ones. Houndmaster? A good houndmaster understands dogs, especially his own. The better you get at commands, the more you'll be able to teach your four-legged friend the better stats he will have. Fuck yeah, you can have a pupper in this game? Sweet. Um, drinking. Drinking skill makes you more resistant to the nefarious effects of alcohol. You'll be able to drink up to twice as much and after effects the next day will be lowered. Huh. I wonder how often we're going to be drinking in this game. And like what the effects actually are. What the hell, man? There is so much to this damn game. I haven't even started playing yet. Holy shit. Buffs. So obviously as we play the game we get buffs. Probably debuffs as well, I would assume. Probably like when you drink. Probably get like better charisma but lower strength or something. Or dexterity. So reputation scallets. 100 reputation in our city that we live in. And then statistics. Total time. So these are just my general damage dealt. Crime. Stolen goods, corpses looted, quests, quest completed, dialogue, persuasion, success, so all our successes, crafting, how many items we've crafted, written works, skill books started, skill books fully read, skill books, gambling, dice one game, people, okay, so you can gamble in this game too, so you can play dice, holy crap, man. I should probably just start playing the game, but damn, there's a lot to look at. So we have... So I skip over the sidekicks panel. So clearly, if our dog are in our horse, okay. Quest log. Unexpected visit. Kind of just refreshing what we've already done. So, I need to go collect debt from Kunesh. C. So, C is my first goal here. Um, and then, let's kind of take a look at this unexpected visit. We finally got some of our fine spring weather, but I still, but still, I slept late in the morning. Because I was out celebrating until the late in the evening, I was a bit hard getting out of bed this morning. In the end, the bright sunlight woke me with a little help from my parents. I went to help father at the forge and I'd promised him the day before. But first he wanted me to run some errands. Okay, so. Started getting some training from sword fighting from a mercenary who turned up in Scalitz recently. Father and mother must find out even though I just told mother. Uh, for some reason, they don't want me to learn to defend myself, which is kind of weird in this kind of day and age. Of course, you'd want to be able to defend yourself. It's kind of the times. Um, I, bought, I got a bit cut yesterday's lesson, though. We're supposed to meet in the alehouse today. I have to go to the market and buy charcoal for father at the forge. He can finish the sword for Sir Rad Radzig. Okay, so let's just head over to the drunk Kunesh and get some gold. So we're headed towards C. All right. Sorry if that was a lot. I just kind of, I like to kind of understand the mechanics a little bit before I jump right into things sometimes. So you can jump. You can run. You can whistle. So that's probably like your horse charcoal burner it's a well god be with you <laughs> which king do you mean master tobias the one sitting in some godforsaken dungeon or the one who holds the key to the dungeon these are strange times strange talking about what's going on but since i serve our liege lord saratzik i think you know the answer true but where will saratzik take the silver Hardly to Kuttenberg, now its citizens bend God's their knees you. to Sigismund. Unfortunately, that's not my problem. Perhaps Sir Radzig is keeping it at the castle until this whole unhappy story reaches its end. 
I only hope Sigismund doesn't get an appetite for our silver, too. That makes two of us. But back to business. Okay. Yeah, let's take a look for C. We're going to have to come back to him and talk to him, but we need You're right there. Anyway, C. Discover Trader. So I guess there's a bunch of stuff I can take a look at in the Codex. Probably should have went around the other way here. Like a birdhouse. Is this the guy we need to talk to? Gunesh. God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? Father sent me for money. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. Okay, for the tools, at least. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. He's a drunk. But I don't have good rep with him. 31. I don't necessarily... I'm probably not very intimidating to this guy right now. I don't think either of these two options are going to work for me right now. Well, father just told me to say that if he doesn't pay. No. I'll go speech. I don't think it's going to work. Nah, you can expect a visit from father. If that's the way you want it. I'll tell father you won't pay and you can tell him what you told me. Don't come back. Most quests can be completed in different ways. Some people can be persuaded. Some people can be robbed. <laughs> and if you'd rather not beat around the bush, violence can also be the solution. And also be robbed. Back stealth. You want to sneak into somewhere, make sure no one sees you or hears you. Whether you're seen in, whether you're seen or not depends on the light oh, belly, eh, you? and your clothing. Whether they hear you, oh shit, depends on uh, probably how much clothing you're wearing and what type of clothing you're wearing and what items you're carrying, how heavy you are. Okay, so he is kind of fucking around here. If I just sneak into his house, anyone looking? I sneak right now. There's no like meter or anything right now. I'm gonna open the door. Does he have a wife? In your private area. Trespassing. We're told not supposed to be people. First warning. Guard on the guard. Warning. But guard places they will arrest you immediately. But in guarded places they will arrest you immediately. So I am trespassing. There's like a X. This door probably is not going to be in here dude doesn't really have anything here shit what is this okay. and of some kind so there's like kitchen area Let's go to his bedroom i guess is this going to be his bedroom at least no, what the fuck? Where's his bedroom? He really doesn't have anything. Anything in here? Hmm. A locked chest. I'll need a lockpick to get into that. Fritz might have one. Fritz. Alright, so I have to go to the tavern, look for Fritz. He 
He didn't see me. Hey, hey. He didn't see me. Perfect. Um. Okay. Can I zoom in? Yeah. So, Fritz. Buy ale from the tavern. So let's go E. See if we can find Fritz at the tavern. Get a lockpick. Not too sure how I really want to play this. We're just going to kind of play it as it kind of comes, I guess. I don't really have a goal in mind. I'm not too sure where this can really take you. I go E. This is the tavern. Dark at home. A torch will help. Your field's life, fellow. Here's a home. Lay. Oh. You can't be serious, Torch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. I had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts, traitor. Now even the Pope. God be with you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsch is spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas's commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped it like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Kutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words, exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? Too I, Matthew. Should give him a proper Fritz. hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge parlementure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it, to be honest. But, doing some tears will do. Well, shit. What do you say, Fritz? Henry? A little aggressive. But I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? Oh, shit. Of course. But I need your help in return. All right, I'll do it. But then you have to give me a hand with something. What do you need? I need a lock. Kuna shows money to father and doesn't want to pay. I tried talking to him, but he wouldn't listen. I need more than words to get coin out of him, and oh. I can't handle it on my own. No problem. We'll back you up. Well, intimidate. Just as soon as we're done plastering Deutsch's house. I'll be happy to sort out that drunken oaf. All right. Let's go while Deutsch is still sitting safely in the tavern. All right. Something tells me we're going to get in trouble here. Nicely whitewashed house. Mm. 
there's someone sitting on the porch here. Okay. Damn. I wonder if I just talk to Fritz. I'm assuming this is probably going to cutscene, but yeah. Listen, there's this locked chest I need to get into. Really? Oh. An honest tray not good enough for you anymore? It's just that someone has something that doesn't belong to him, and I want to take it back. <laughs> if you say so. It's not skin off my nose anyway. I've got some lock picks you can have. But if you get caught, you didn't get them from me. <laughs> Never heard of you. Thanks, Fritz. Okay, well, if I really want, I got four lockpicks. Awesome. Well, I could either run there, pick the chest without getting caught. I feel like this is probably going to be a bad idea. I feel like we're going to get caught. Henry, you, Henry, I'm glad you came. Intimidation is not too bad either. Maybe I want to save my lockpicks. Let's, uh... Okay, let's try this. So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? The Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. Yeah. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're it's the clever one. Smooth Tucker. Yeah. A villager. I can hear the shit. Probably all this right there. This is probably his wife. That's his wife. What do you want, lad? So it's kind of okay. So I wasn't expecting. Uh, I guess I should have, but wasn't expecting a lot of people to be still loyal to the uh, the uh, emperor, the true king there. Kind of sounded like he was a bit of a, a knob. Didn't really want to do anything that actually required any of his abilities as king or emperor. He just wanted to be a drunk and finagler. Um, your husband's making trouble. I just went by the tavern and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh... Well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty! The fool! Next thing he'll start on about the Popes! He might have mentioned the Popes too. Already did. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. There we go. He's run off. Let's start throwing some shit. Do I have to do anything with this daughter? Reputation lost. Already, so that already means we got caught. In my head. Reputation lost. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass! This is all good, clean, fun! <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund. Woohoo! Eat shit, doshes. You bastards! Yeah. What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, Hans. Can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Oh, sons! Let's make those smiles off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. Okay. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging Zbizek? out with this poxy Deutscher? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. Ooh. Surprise, surprise, we're gonna have a fight. <laughs> this will be hand to hand Fucker. combat. I'll make you pay for that. Here we go. Okay. Holy shit. Okay. 
Uh, unarmed combat. So, hook, strong, slower hand, strike to the head. Right trigger. I'm bad with this. Right trigger. RB, jab, direct hand, blow to the face. Left trigger, kicks your opponent away. Lock your opponent with R3. Unlock with B. Block with left bumper. Block raises both hands and holds in defense. Okay. Let's take a look at our bar here. Okay, so opponent. This indicator shows roughly how much health your opponent has left. The more wounded he is, the slower he'll attack and react. When the end is near, he may either try to flee or surrender. Stamina is the yellow bar. If an opponent's strike hits your armor, or you block it, it will consume... It'll cost you stamina. When your stamina is completely depleted, you won't be able to defend yourself and will be wounded. Attacking will also deplete stamina, especially when wielding a heavy weapon. Your wounds. Icons that notify where you're wounded and if you're bleeding. So that's like a foot, and it looks like there's blood coming out of it. Um, health. If you are... If you cover yourself badly and your armor is weak, strikes will wound you. Heavy wounds will lead to bleeding, and bleeding will lead to death. The more your health is depleted, the lower your stam maximum stamina. Oh well, shit. Well, we'll see how this goes. We'll be close. Nice. Got him. Bitch. Got him. Got him. You dead, bitch. Yeah. Okay. That's an enemy. Boom, bitch. Boom, bitch. He's bitch. You bitch. Yeah, run away, bitches. Spishek, what are you doing? We don't have to run. We on the right. Wait, what? Ah, yes. Why are we running? We're running? As if that's never happened to me before. We're running? What the fuck? I'm so confused. We didn't win? Those aren't my friends. My friends ran away. But they sounded like they lost. I'm so fucking confused. What the fuck just happened? They sounded like they lost the fight, but yet my friends are the ones who ran away. And I, like, kicked two of their asses. I'm so confused. Runt from the catch pole with your friends. Meet the lads at Kurnesh's. Dude, what? I guess I missed that. We got chased away by someone, I guess. I missed that. Weird. Weird. Well, Combat wasn't too bad. That that was that went fairly well. I didn't I didn't really block at all. Um or kick or anything. So maybe I'll have to learn how to do that. I was just kind of mainly doing some jabs and some heavy punches. It kind of felt fairly fairly nice. Okay, so we're going to head back to C. This Kurness's place. We'll go intimidate him rather than uh, steal from him. Is there... I'm assuming I got some blood on me at this point. I could be wrong. How do you... How do you check that? That's map. 
Inventory. I look clean right now. There isn't any kind of... Crusty white bread. It smells wonderful and tastes good. Cheese. Quarter of cheese. Properly stored. Keep well and filling. Why is that energy minus three? The cost energy to eat cheese? I have 100 energy, 56 nourishment. So if I eat a cheese, nourishment went to 66 and my energy went down to 98. Energy. Is that like sleep? Do we have to sleep? Okay, so we're back at Grenache's. Guess I'll use my friends to uh, intimidate. I think I probably just have to engage with them again. Ooh. No? Yes? No? I don't even know where my freaking friends ran off to. I didn't even see. Okay, where are these guys? What the hell? Uh Take back the things you didn't pay for in other ways money Where do I have to find these fucks? F. I don't see an F. It's probably next to C here. Now I see F. Probably behind the other house there. I'm gonna use the lads here. I'm not gonna lockpick right now. I'm gonna intimidate. There's no reason why... I should waste a lockpick when I can easily do it this way. Let's go. I'll talk to Matthew. Well, we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? Not really. That old bastard didn't stand a chance. Exactly. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the village. Um, I need help. It was a nice job with Kunesh's place. But I need, I need help. A hand with Kunesh. Sure, man. You helped us, so we'll help you. Let's get to it then. Perfect. There you go. Kunesh, get out here, you old goat. Well, he's right there. Show you. He's, he's right here. He's standing right here. He's right there. Hey, on. Let's go. What the fuck go. are you here for? You want me to take a whip to you or call a catch pole? Just try it, you old drunk. Fuck. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Wrong guy. Why? Why am I on this guy? What just happened? Enough! Enough! I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? Yeah, I kind of do. I kind of went through his house, and he didn't have shit. Uh, you can use your health in red bar in the lower edge of your screen. Uh, health determines the maximum of your stamina, so I guess my health went down a little bit after I get hit there. I don't know why. I, I guess I locked onto the wrong guy there. It's weird. There's no, like, combat. I can't, like, do combat outside. Oh. Well, 
Weird. I'm just trying to practice, but I guess I can't practice right now. Um, now, do I see anything? I don't see anything like on my head or anything. I don't blood stains. I wonder if you see it on the inventory here. So I'm going to go to player. I do have a prick point upgrade, I believe. Main level. Okay. So I have a perk point for my main level. Level is derived from your stats, progress of the game. Yes, we already read that. Um, aesthetic. You'll last 30% longer without food, but as soon as you get hungry, the effects will be 20% worse. What are the effects of food? Manly odor. Manly odor. When dirty, you'll have 50% more charisma when talking to women. However, People will smell you a mile off, reducing your stealth by 30%. Okay. Night Rider. Your stamina will regenerate 23% faster at night, but 10% slower during the day. Scout increases the sight distance of fast travel. Increases the sight distance of fast travel. So you, you notice events on the way sooner. And you, if, and your chances of evading are also increased by 10%. What the fuck does that mean? Increase your sight distance of fast travel so you notice events on this way sooner. And your chances of evading are also increased by 10%. So there's a chance... What the fuck? So there's a chance when you fast travel that you... There's probably events that can happen. You can get robbed or attacked or something. If you fast travel? Wanderer. You if okay, so you grew up in impoverished conditions. So comfort of beds is inert inverted for you. The worse the bed, the better you sleep. And vice versa. What the fucking hell? I don't know what to pick here. I don't necessarily want any of these. It's like there's good and bad. Other than Scout. Like Scout's the only one that actually is like. Only good. What the hell? I don't know if I want any of these, to be honest. Like, that's cool, but how quickly do you start smelling? Stamina would generate 20% faster, but slower during the day. That doesn't sound very good. Um, Increase sight distance. That's the only one that seems good. I'm going to go just scout one, I guess. Move on. I don't necessarily know what that does, though. So I guess when you fast travel, there's a chance that you're uh, <clears throat> have an ability to get into encounters, I guess. Okay, so we got money. Let's actually take a look at our inventory here. Uh, weapons, armor, food, quest items, other. Wait a minute. I don't see any gold. Inesha's key. So I have to go get the gold myself. Well, it's a good thing I looked, because I was not going to do that. Let's actually take a look before I hop in there. I guess I wasn't paying attention. We just finished the fight so fast. I got the key to Kurenesha's trunk from him. Maybe he'll have something... In there, we're selling, and I should take back the axe he got to Father 2. It, it It's in front of his house. So I'm taking stuff from his chest. What the fuck? The cell. Karnesha's hammer. 
Ramesh's nails. Do I just take everything? The hammer Kanesh got on credit from father, he never paid for. The nails father wanted Kanesh to pay for. So do I just take both of them? Is there more? Probably not. We just took everything back? Eat from the pot? Did that do anything? Let's take a look. Nourishment 89. We just stole food from him. And this mofo literally has nothing else in his house. I just got stuck here. What the hell? It's kind of sad. I kind of feel bad. But not that bad. Where's the axe? Right there. We'll take that. So, do I just sell the nails and hammer? Or do I take more from them? If I can. Probably just supposed to sell the axe and hammer. Nothing back here. A lot of firewood. Wash yourself. Sweet. Okay, so I think we got what we needed there. All right, blacksmith's boy, you got the better of me. Take what you want, but you haven't heard the last of this. Oh, yeah, Kanesh. I'm sure the next time I see you, you won't be just a drunk. Right? I'm sure. Right? Or he'll be in a posse with the, uh, those kids and their father. Um, Deutsch. Um, okay, so... We still don't have money. So we need to go and sell the hammer. I'm probably gonna keep the axe. Inventory. Weapons. Oh, so the axe is not a weapon. Um. Okay, so do we just sell? Charcoal burner's helper. Trader. Good health to you. Shopping. In shops, you first have to put your purchase Everything into your basket, house. and then Garden either field, confirm the purchase line, or it, try to haggle. Hose. The amount you yeah, have to right pay is always shown at the top of the screen. Let's trade. Your wealth, zero. Trader's wealth, 20. Your reputation, 91. Trading items for nothing. Okay, so... Um... This is what he has. Um... I want to sell. I can't sell anything? Okay, so he's not gonna buy anything I have. Cobbler's kit. Are you Everything for the house. Garden and field. Knives, axes, Fabric, rakes, hoes. Let's try this guy. God be with you. Come, people, come. Let's try this. So blackmist stuff, butcher's blade, all that stuff. Um, can I sell? Yes. So I think it said that I needed to take the axe back to father, but then sell the rest. So if I just sell nails. Price 0. 0.7.
I'm not even going to get, like, one whole gold. 0.7. So 2.1. Uh, I'm going to keep the axe, I think. Um, sub tabs, cycle tabs. Um, check basket, selling hammer and nails. By hold X to haggle. Let's have a word about the price. Sure, why not? Haggling. Haggling works both ways. Whether you want to buy cheap or sell dear. Um, you select the amount you want to pay or get paid with and confirm. The trader will then respond to your offer. If the answer is a refusal, he or she will make a counter offer and wait for your response. Your money the top there, your original purchase price in the middle, trader's last offer, your current offer, your last offer not accepted by the trader, trader's last offer. To close will be next page. Haggling. If the slider can't be moved in one direction or the other, it means either you or the trader does not have enough money. Dragging out the haggling with one offer after another will gradually try the trader's patience and eventually they'll drop the haggling completely. You can see how close you're getting to that point from the trader icon below the bar. The more gold there is in the background, the closer the trader is to dropping the haggling. The more gold there is in the background, the closer they are to dropping. Okay. Every unsuccessful bout of haggling lowers your reputation with the trader. That's kind of what I thought was going to happen. Okay. So let's close. I'm at 2.1. I'm very confused. I'm going to go back to help. Select the amount you want to pay or get paid and confirm with A. The trader will respond to your offer. So current is 2.1. Silk, come right up and take some home. I think it was like 2.4 was the original money. So I'm not really, I'm, I'm like haggling for like 0.4. Am I seriously haggling for like some point four shit? I guess we'll just see what happens here. So we'll go two point six. Are we agreed? Welcome, Henry. You won't convince me with that. He goes two point three. I thought the original fucking price was two point three. And he's angry as shit. He's angry as shit. I'm angling for a couple pennies here. We'll go 2.3, I guess. I don't give a fuck. Very well. I agree. So, 2.3. For the nails and the hammer. Um... Buy charcoal. Kind of confused because I thought originally it said to keep the axe. Yeah, let's see what a bag of charcoal cost. God be with you. Trade. 
price point five. Charcoal is wood burnt in kilns by pyrolists. Pyrolysis? Without influx of air. It is used primarily in forges and smelting works and to a lesser extent in alchemy for its filtration properties. And that's all they sell and it's 0.5 probably for one unit. So that's sweet. I was kind of thinking it might be more. So I'll buy one. I still have... Do I even haggle or I'm just gonna buy it? Is that it? For sure I bought it. Or no? Yeah, I bought it. Right? No? I'm so confused. It doesn't look like I bought it. Yeah, I removed it. Okay. Close the deal. Haggle. Do I really Can want to haggle? About the price? Sure, why not? I'm going to just go point 2. Oh. Yeah, I'm not even going to haggle. This is there's no point in haggling and ruining reputation for no fucking reason. Reputation lost. The fuck? What the fuck? Because I didn't haggle? I'm so confused. Okay, let's just go charcoal one in my basket. I'm just gonna fucking pay for it. Point five. I'm not gonna bag of charcoal at the market for ten. Oh shit. So I gotta sell the axe then. I'm so confused. I thought it said to keep the axe. And then I also have to buy alcohol. How the hell am I supposed to do that? What the fuck? I'm so confused. Yeah, I'm gonna look again at the quest log here. Go to the storage fighting lesson, buy a bag of charcoal, pick up the cross guard, buy a tavern. I need to buy 10 charcoal. I don't have money for that. Nothing here says to keep the axe. But I, I swore it said keep the axe for father. But it looks like I should be selling. This guy doesn't like me either, so I don't know if the trading prices are going to be worse because he doesn't like me. That kind of sucks. So I'm going to sell. Oh, not the truck wall. Finishes axe. Price, 2.4. Go to the basket. I don't want to sell bread. Eggle. Can we do something about the price? Sure. Why not? tells me this is not going to go well because I already have a shit rep with him. Let's go 2.9. What about this? You won't convince me with that. Really? 2.6. Fabric. He's like pissed. Come, people, come. Let's try 2-7. Agree? A nice sum. Just lower your demands a little and we'll agree. So he's mad. And he just wants... Oh. No, I get 2-6? Or 2-7? I'm confused. No, that was my last offer and he just denied me. I guess we'll go 2-6. come to an arrangement. What will it be today? A bit of this, a bit of that. Okay. So is that enough to buy charcoal? Probably not if I... Fuck. Probably should have went for 10. 
and then haggled him down. That might have worked. So we'll go for nine and try to haggle him down. So let's go... One... Go nine? And see if we can haggle him down. Let's talk about the price. I... I feel like if I... I only have 4.4 and it costs 4.5. How the hell am I supposed to get alcohol with that? Dude, this game is rough. I don't know how much alcohol it is. I would assume 0.5 at least. To the least. Is 3.9 good? Are we agreed? Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. He's going to want 4-1. I'm going to offer 4. This is probably going to piss him off. Make offer. No deal then. Yep. Fuck, I knew it. I fucking knew it. Rep lost. Damn it, man. Okay. See you later. And I lost rep, so haggling is going to be even harder this time. I literally can't pay for full price, so I'm going to have to haggle. And it's That's probably going to be even harder this time. Naturally. Damn, dog. 4-4 four, four is what I... I don't know, dude. I'm going to go 4. Satisfied? That's not enough. rough dude that's a sum i can live with i can afford it i can't afford ale i feel like if i went for 10 and i haggled earlier it might have been better you might have a better chance of haggling if you're selling more damn it dude i literally have 0.1 how much does alcohol cost? Green shirt. Damn it, dude. Oh, the sword fighting. Pick up the cross guard. Buy ale at the tavern. Strong linen, delicate velvet, beautiful. How am I to pay for ale? Welcome, Henry. Oh, Bianca. Well, save my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? You got money? Ale. Just ale. What else could I expect from a village lout? <laughs> what will it be then, ragamuffin? That's just saying stupid things. A picture for father. I need ale for father. A picture as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Is it free? Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. Awesome. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Don't worry, dearest. This evening I'll see you right. All right. Oh, how? I do hope so. Thanks. No problem. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty-looking fellow was asking after you. Vanyard? I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin rubbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. sword what fighting. use will that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be what going. What the hell? See you this evening. Pal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite, savior your schnapps. Really? Mm, you're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. Five, save your schnapps. Saving the game, this... 
Game saves automatically at important moments during the quests and when you sleep in your own bed. To save it immediately, drink Savior Schnapps. Shit. So saving isn't free unless you're actually like going to bed. Or it's like a major save spot. Wow. Shit. Okay, so saving's not free. Okay, sweet. Got ale from a bitch. Bianca. Uh, now I need to go... Sword fighting or get the cross guard, which is D. So I guess I'll just go to cross guard first and come back for sword fighting after. Good day, Henry. Strong linen. Maybe I should just go B first and then D. I guess we'll go B first. Hey, Pip, do you want to learn something? No, I don't think so. Thanks. Suit yourself. Hail to the hero. So you haven't changed your mind about learning the craft of warfaring. He's talking to me. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? That uh, was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. The world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. You've spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Well, let's go. Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Follow him? Sheep run away from you? Discovered a combat area. It's probably this pen. Come on. Come on. Jumping costs stamina. Let's go, buddy. So, can we get started? Yeah, we can. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. to the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Ah, 
faster and more precise at the cost of force. The stabs can be aimed at the face, upper zone, or the body, any other zone. Very good. Now you're getting it. Not bad. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. You can chain strikes together using a combo. Start a new strike as soon as the previous one ends. You can change the attack zone or strike repeatedly. Try to press our right trigger or right B at the very moment the previous strike lands. The window of opportunity is between striking at the opponent and at the end of the swing. The window of opportunity is between striking at the opponent and at the end of the swing. So... Good. Once again. Now you're getting it. Stamina was going down. Chain strikes. So. Not bad. Again. Stamina goes down pretty quickly. All right. That's enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired and thirsty. Remember, though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. Didn't really you tell me to, to block. Work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. Well, shit. Um, didn't really tell me to block it all there. So I have directions to attack at. I'm assuming block is more of just a standard block. All right, all right, all right. Um, I need the hilt. God be with you, Henry. Thank you. Head up to the castle. Can I just walk right up, or do I, I'm assuming I have to talk to these guys. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Uh, I came for the cross guard. I already threw shit at the guy's house. I don't really need to talk about him. Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik. And the Chamberlain has the cross guard and pommel. Father had them engraved in Sasau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, <laughs> shut up and give me what I want or I'll kick your ass this evening. Oh, yeah. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Is that a bit of... See you later in the tavern. Foreshadowing? I certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Okay, let's head back to Father and get the sword completed here. All right, all right, let's go. Oh shit, ale and dialogue. Ale, how am I supposed to get the, oh, I already got the ale. What am I talking about? About time, have you got everything I wanted? For sure. 
I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Where have you been with that ale? It's as flat and warm as horse piss. Go back and get me another, and you can what? pay for it yourself. That's the price of stupidity. So that... Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes. What? Because I fought and went to the get the hilt for the cross guard. What the fuck? Literally, I have point one. So I should have went there last. Shit. Like, I guess he did tell me that, kind of, and it kind of did say that, sort of. It didn't feel like it took that long, though. Shit, how am I supposed to get money? Shit. Um, okay. Um, how do I get back down there? What the hell? I'm gonna have to get gold somehow. Maybe the bartender will have something for me to do. Shit. I wonder if I got the ale last, if I would have been fine there, or no matter what. Hey, Henry's come to see us. Or no matter what, that was gonna happen. I don't have anything to sell. Go back to Bianca. You look like something the cat dragged in. I'm back. I can see that. What's the matter? I need another pitcher of ale. The last one wasn't cold enough for father. You want me to get it for you? But I still have no money to pay for it. Honestly, what am I to do with you? My speech just went up. There you are. Seemed kind of. Thanks. And she just it's got it for me. Today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Okay. Don't worry, dearest. This evening I'll see you right. Oh, how? I do hope so. Awesome. So I just got another one from her. I won't run. I'll just walk there, I guess. I'll go right there. She mentioned my smell or my look. Nourishment 82, visibility 56, conspicuousness 50. How do you tell? Animal, clothing, fashion, fabrics, faith, furniture, guild, Jews. The Jews settled in Moravia and Bohemia, probably even earlier. Is this the Codex? Is this general? Foreigners who the Romans had banished to exile. Jews traders in the Czech's land settled largely around the long distance trade routes. Major centers, which in the early Middle Ages were Almanac, Brno, Zermolgi, Zermoljo, and the Center Elbe River Evrons. Most lived in Prague, however. Record tells about 120 houses in the demarcated Jewish quarter of the Old Town. They were under the legal protection of decrees by Wenceslas II and subsequently Charles the fourth okay well okay so the Jews are under protection of the Emperor I guess I don't want to just look at character tutorials 
smelling and like character stats, skills, basic controls, combat, alchemy, equipment maintenance, lock picking, speech and persuasion, stealth, wounds, and healing. Health, red bar, stealth, speech and persuasion. I already read all this, but it's like kind of weird. Like, how do you tell how dirty you are? That's something that it didn't tell you. It says that it matters, but it doesn't tell you. Quest and journals, lockpicking. And repair your equipment. Well, shit. Maybe it'll come up. I don't necessarily know how to tell how stinky or dirty you are. But somehow that affects your reputation. Well, let's hope that the father accepts this fucking ale. I just got it right out of the cellar just now, so it better be good enough for you. Better appreciate it, you fucking bastard. Talk about the things you wanted. Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? Yes, sir. I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasal did for us. <laughs> Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Oh, damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Oh. Have you got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. Oh, it tells me this is my sword. I could be wrong. By the way, someone paid me a call. Uh oh. I reckon you might know what it was about. Uh oh. I'm not sure. Mr. Deutsch? Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. <laughs> got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. <sighs> understand. We'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught making a fool of himself, and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and war. You turn into a common thug. Yep. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Well, yeah. It's boring. The furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. Good. Once more. Uh, 
That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. Yeah? And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you oh. remember Emperor Charles? There's a reason. They don't want me fighting life with Life was sword. good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles. Had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university. And all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Seems you like think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Fresh <laughs> quest. Really? Man. I feel like impending doom's about to happen here. Interesting ceiling. Like storage space above there or something. Is there a granary? Nails for Theresa. Can I just take all this? I'm gonna take that. Marigold decoction. Within a minute. We'll add 30 health and dispel hangover effects. Cancel the effects of Lazarus potion. Or po yeah, potion. Bandage, strip clean, linen used to stop bleeding. I'm assuming I can just take this stuff. I will take it all. Stealing from my own family, I am. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering, will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, Henry, mustn't keep you. Waiting? I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Of course. Fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. 
Those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what <laughs> good is a sword to a commoner? Let him try it. Good is a sword to a commoner. He really doesn't want me to fight. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How do you wrap the hilt so fast? How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. I wonder what happened to him. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. All right, all right, all right. It's been an honor, Sir Isfah. Have a safe journey to Sassau. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. Oh. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here beneath the linden tree and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them or beat them? Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need meet to learn swordplay. Yeah. Hey -ya! A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Impending doom. That's what happened. Well, that doesn't look like we stand a chance. react a little faster than that. Listen carefully. Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry, what about you? Told you it was my sword. It's my sword now, bitches. Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Radzik. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. Ah, shit. Well, that was easy. I already took all the stuff that was in there.
What about Bianca? We're closing! Move in, people! Come on! Come on! Time. Oh, Henry! Thank God! Get inside quick! We have to shut the Get gates! Get running, people! Come on! Mind this for me. Are you mad? You can't go back! Get through the gates! How the fuck did I run all the way up there in the first place, then? Quite badass. Rope shot. Back shot. Oh shit. Oh shit. With his sword. He's probably chapped about that. Sir Raditz's sword. Flex his sons to me and run. Okay, well. I think that was a good start. It's a pretty interesting story so far. Kind of was a little pre predictable there uh, with a uh, bit of tragedy right at the beginning of the game there. Um, sweet. Well, I'm excited to continue this game. I um, hope you enjoy. If you liked what you see, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. It would really help my channel grow a lot. And I'd really appreciate it. Until next time. Peace.